HQ? Yes, hello? We're gonna need you to send the rotator. Yeah, the big one. The 70 ton. No, I'm not making it up. There is a stuck semi with a container trailer off in the ice, and I need the rotator now. Welcome back to SnowRunner, y'all, and in this video, you guys actually requested a follow-up to my last snowplow video, so that is what we are doing in this one. Now, we're actually gonna have to wake up our dude uh, today because, as you can see, well, uh, I, I, I think, um, <laughs> I think our dude has had a case of, uh, missing out on their morning <laughs> coffee, and, uh, oh, there we go! Oh, they're awake! Fancy seeing you here. All right. Well, I think it's time to fire this thing up because we have a couple of areas on the main road that we need to plow and then we actually need to go out to the ice road and plow some of that as well. So let's get this thing fired up. Roars to life. Never had any issues at all starting this truck up. All right, so let's get out onto the main road here. We're not gonna go ahead and drop the plow just yet. We have to get a little bit further down the road first, um, but we plowed over here to the right last time, but we didn't go super far. So this actually goes down to where the ice road starts, and that is where we're actually going to be needing to scrape today. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually drop the plow right here, and we're gonna head down towards where that, uh, it's like a motel kind of looking building. So we're gonna drop the plow here, and we're gonna scrape this part of the road. And once we get far enough down this way, we'll be able to turn around and head back. Now, as we can see, oh god, I think my plow might be a little bit low. But they did say they wanted this road scraped, so we're gonna scrape it. And at the very least, it is giving us a little bit of feedback as to, like, where the plow actually is. Now, my cab is shaking a lot. Oh, God, once you jump inside of it, the cab shakes a bunch. Like, it really shakes all over the place. Let me get a little bit further down now, and then we'll turn around probably about where this little, like, warehouse is on the left. Maybe I shouldn't be turning the whole road into dirt. Maybe I should actually raise the plow just a little bit. Yeah, well, I uh, <laughs> tried that. Up you go. Come on. Well, now it's not barely even in the ground. God, that thing is torn up. It wasn't even doing that last time. It was not scraping anywhere near that bad last time. Okay, well, here's the thing. At least it's actually interacting with the ground, unlike the last time we tried to plow snow. Because as you guys may remember, and if you don't remember, you can go back and watch the prior episode of Snow Plowing on my channel. In the first episode of this, my plow didn't even want to interact with the ground. So we'll put the plow back down now. And now we can head back the other way. And, well, as you can see, scrapage is happening. But you know what? I know that it looks kind of wacky and kind of weird, but I'd rather it actually engage with the ground than not engage with it at all, right? I mean, let me know in the comment section down below. Like, would you guys rather have it engage with the ground or just kind of pretend that it's there? Like, that's... See, I know that this is, like, just digging up dirt, essentially, but, like, I just like the fact that it's actually engaging with something, you know? Because prior to this, I was like, well, the plow isn't even remotely engaging with anything, so, like... It was just kind of weird to me, but at least now, even though it is, yes, kind of off, it, it, it's, at least it's, like, actually registering with the ground. So let me get a little bit further down now, and we should be able to take a quick left right here. Now, oh my god. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and scrape this one as well, and, oh, okay, I see. Because it's not directly a paved surface, it's fine with it. Now, we scraped this last time, so I'm not going to be too concerned with going down the sides. I'm just going to go down the middle. And, wow, the plow is technically in the ground, but we're maintaining really good speed. Now, the ice road up ahead is what we need to scrape. So, actually, what is that speck off in the distance? That's kind of weird. What's sitting down there? It looks like the back end of a container, but I can't be entirely sure. Now, scraping the ice itself is going to be a little bit weird because I've never done this before. I genuinely have never done this before. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to unlock the gate 
and we're gonna raise the dump body because we're gonna actually need to spread some gravel, well, gravel slash salt mixture to help with some traction out here on the ice. So we're gonna go ahead and put it in low and ease it on down so as we plow, we're also gonna be spreading, I say spreading with air quotes, um, a mixture that'll allow the next trucks that travel through here a little bit more traction. So let me go ahead and actually lower that plow a little bit more so that we have a little bit more scrape that we can do. Not too bad. I'm kind of thinking that we have a little bit of, uh, like we've got a little bit of leeway here, although I will say we've only got four gallons of fuel left. I don't know how we only have four gallons of fuel left, but somehow we only have four gallons of fuel left. And whoa, that looks like a stuck truck. Like legitimately, that looks like a truck that's genuinely in danger. Let's get a little bit closer to it because if it is a truck that's in danger, I may need to actually call uh, back to HQ and get them to send a wrecker out because it looks like it's a stuck semi. Dude, this might be the, whoa, whoa, that's sketch. Okay. Oh my God. If the plow truck got into that much trouble that easily, I can only imagine what kind of trouble a semi got into back here. Fortunately, the rotator back at HQ, dude, our dude is getting beat up in there. But no, like the rotator back at HQ is fully equipped to deal with situations like this. It's got ice tires. It's got all of the upgrades needed to deal with a snowy, icy recovery. So we've only got one gallon of fuel left, and it looks to me like there's also a completely stuck semi truck down there. So, uh, HQ? Yes? Hello? We're going to need you to send the rotator. Yeah, the big one. The 70 ton. No, I'm not making it up. There is a stuck semi with a container trailer off in the ice, and I need the rotator now. Yes? Cool? Okay, sounds good. This rotator, as some of you guys may know, it kind of stays parked near the edge of the garage. Doesn't really come out all that often, but when it does... Oh, dude. Now, let's see. Let's cold start this thing, because it's been sitting for a minute. There it is. Took it a second, but it roared to life. All right. Let's get this thing pulled out of here. Oh, my God. And that train horn. Jeez. Okay. You want to talk about something being recovery ready. This is about as recovery ready as you could possibly get. So we're going to head on down to the ice road and get that truck hooked up and pull it on out. Now, I don't know the situation of how badly it's stuck in the ice. So I think we'll kind of assess it once we get a little bit closer to it. And while we're down there, we also brought some spare fuel that we can use to refuel the snowplow because the plow truck, I mean, it's fine. It just needs fuel. And I mistakenly miscalculated the amount of fuel I was going to need to have in order to get it out and get it back. So, God, this thing is quick. You got to actually be kind of careful. This thing's got some power to it. All right, making my way down onto the ice road. And I can actually see where both the plow truck and the semi are off in the distance. Oh, yeah. You can actually see the tracks left by the plow truck. Jeez. I'm going to actually put it in high because high with this gearbox is not actually all that fast. It's actually pretty controlled. And it's holding me right there at 2,000 RPM, which for an engine like this is going to keep us right in the power band. And actually, that's a little bit high because, you know, trucks like this in the real world, you'd shift between like 14. 1400 to 1600 rpm this one right now with it sitting at about 2000 it doesn't sound like it's sitting at 2000 but it's sitting at 2000 on the gauge it's actually dropping a bit i wonder if it's trying to stall on me it might be but we'll have to wait and see all right first of all getting a little crunchy on the ice first of all let's refuel the good old plow truck because the plow truck needs it all right refuel source rotator target there we go. So that's done. And now the plow truck can get back to work whenever it needs to. So let's actually make our way on down to where this wrecked semi is. Because this will be my very first time actually seeing it up close. So up and over the... Wow, that's a weird, like, gash in the ice. Dude, I don't know what the heck happened here. Dude, like, drove straight off the road. 
I wonder if they fell asleep at the wheel or something. I don't know how you wind up over there. All right, well, it's going to be beacons on because we're going to have to get this thing recovered. So I'm thinking that we should probably... I want to get the front end rotated around so I can drive it back out. All right, let's see. Find a good place to set up here. I just don't want to set up in the ice because if I set up in the ice, that's just going to be bad for everybody. Get backed in. Almost there. All right, we're just above the ice. So let's see. Let's activate our anchor feet. Put them down. And the front axle is basically off the ground. So let me rotate. Extend, extend, extend. All right, that's about as far as it's going to go. Now. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Yo, I forgot how incredibly powerful this rotator was. I could even pull it off of the ground with it. That is insane. Yo, I need to get a photo of that. That is wild. I absolutely need to get a photo of that. That looks insane. Holy, that is, that is going in the absolute, like, towing archives for me. Holy smokes, dude. That's, that's insane. That is going in the tow rig archives for sure. All right, let's get you back this way just a little bit further. All right, we've got you rotated around. Let's tighten up on that, on that cable. And then now, we can get out of crane mode, throw this thing in low, lock the diffs, and then bring the anchors back in and ease it on to the ice road. Almost there. And I think, yes, in just a moment, it should be good to go. Dude, that's so sick. All right, we got it out of the ice. We have got the truck out of the ice. That is beautiful. Okay, so now that we've got that thing out of the ice, I'm trying to think. So, the next place we take it, I mean, it's technically fully drivable. So, what we'll probably do is we'll probably just have them come back and get it. And then we'll finish our rounds in the plow truck. But at least we got that thing out of the ice. So that's a big improvement from the situation it was in before. Now, if you guys would like to see where this snow plow saga goes, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and turn those notifications on. And let me know what you guys are uh, thinking about these videos in the comments down below. But that's going to do it for this episode. And I will see you all next time.